Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel HTML with Athya. In this video, we will be studying more about HTML style attribute. Now, if you haven't watched my first video, go and watch it right now because in that video, I have talked in a lot of, in a lot of detail about attributes. But today, I'm going to give you an overview of attributes. So, attributes are some additional information about elements. Now, the question arises, what are elements? So, elements are something which have starting tag, then the content and the ending tag. So, over here, as you can see, I have my starting tag P. Then I have my content, I am normal, and then my ending tag, tag, slash, p, and then uh, closing tag, right? So this is an element. Over here, this is an element because it has a starting tag, a content, and my ending tag. So by um, additional information, I mean over here, as you can see over here, I have additional information about my paragraph, that is its style, that the style is red color. Over here, I have the style as the font size is 50 pixels so it's giving me additional information about my element paragraph that the font size is this my color is this so that's what attributes do okay and they kind of help making a website more interactive visual and interesting okay now so uh now we're gonna start learning how we can use the style attribute so here I have um, my tag P and whenever we um, have an attribute, we write it in the starting tag. So that means I'm not going to say P starting tag and then I have separate tag for style. No, I have, I'm going to write my attribute in the starting tag. Okay, so starting P style equals to and now whenever I write something about style, I'm going to write it in quotation marks okay so by quotation marks i mean double apostrophes over here as you can see okay then i will say color colon red and then i'm gonna put a semicolon and i'll end my quotation mark to say okay this is the end of my style and then my starting tag will end over here and then i'll put my text which is i am red and then the ending tag okay so style never has an ending tag that means i don't have to specify the style in the ending tag as well it's almost like this break tag okay break tag doesn't um have an ending tag in this one we just in um, the attributes we just specify them in the starting tag and then we don't have to specify them in the ending tag over here again it's the same just that um i'm gonna change my color so starting tag p and then style equals to quotation marks color um colon blue and then semicolon quotation marks close and then closing tag i mean the close tag okay and then i have my text to specify that okay i have to apply this style into this text and then my paragraph is ending which is the closing tag okay here p style equals to now we come to the font size so px is pixels okay so font size in font size i'm gonna put a hyphen colon 50 px semicolon and then the close tag uh, sorry and the quotation mark and then the close tag and then i have my content and then the paragraph is ending and when i run this um coding i'll get this so this is h1 this is a normal text that's why i've written i am normal so basically this text is specifying that this is normal then while i have written um the color red over here i get a red color text and over here because i have a blue color text i'm going to write a blue color text over here and because the style in the third paragraph is 50 pixels like the font says it's 50 pixels so it is really big bigger than the h1 which is the heading one all right so now we are done with html style attributes but this is not where our video ends our video now in our video we'll discuss about background colors okay now how what are background colors so if you want to like apply some different background colors you know in your html work so we have um, a tag for that one as well so first of all we're going to specify our document type then specify that our html is beginning and then h1 a background color so i'm just specifying that okay we're talking about uh, background colors and then body style now the attribute style would be in the body this time okay that um my background color is powder blue okay 
but um, the format of style like how we wrote it over here will be the same as here so quotation mark background color and there will be a hyphen between them colon powder blue the name of the color semicolon quotation mark and then close okay now the body the closing tag of body doesn't immediately come in the same line it can, comes at the end because we have nested elements inside it right if you don't know what nested elements are watch my first video i'll provide the link to you in the description box now so here i've written my h2 out there and then paragraph html with out there so you know there's no difference just that we have the background color in this okay um and this is the text uh and here as you can see my font size is smaller because i have used h2 heading 2 and then background colors for this one i have used h1 so there's more importance more font size less importance less font size okay now we're going to talk about text color so we can also edit our text color so first we studied about how we can um style our text and then we said about background color and now we're going to study about text color so um when i talk about text color so it's not really necessary to specify it in a particular tag whichever text you want to be edited whether it's a heading one whether it's body it's paragraph you're gonna write it in its starting tag so the style would be same style equals to whatever color you want semicolon quotation mark and ending then the content and then the ending tag okay so that's it over here i took my h1 style so which is h1 is this one over here and this is a heading oh wait sorry so i took my color blue and then this is a heading and then h1 end then style for the second paragraph because it's a paragraph the um the font size is smaller color is red this is a paragraph and then paragraph end now the next one is fonts okay so in this one we're going to talk about fonts fonts like the font family so we can also choose what kind of font you want to see in your web page now over here you can so basically whatever font you want you can go look up and look it at uh, look it up in the word document or a powerpoint document and see their name and then go to style equals to font family because here i'm talking about a font family i'm going to put the font family out of style then colon and then whatever font family you want so Korea, Vardana, whatever and then this is a heading blah blah pa paragraph style of font family Korea. this is a paragraph ending so um if you can apply font size in whichever tag you want whichever text tag you want and so instead you have to apply it in h1 tag is to a paragraph you can apply it wherever you want right now second lastly we have um font size which is really important again so font size can also be applied in whichever text tag you want so in this one i have h2 and i've applied my font size to be 300 percent now you must be thinking that h2 is smaller than h1 but if i have um applied the font size as greater than the h1 then of course it will be greater so you can see over here isn't that interesting that h1 h2 is like the font size of h2 is greater than h1 but the importance of course doesn't decrease for h1 h1 will still be the most important okay then for paragraph style is 160 percent over here okay so that way that's also interesting you can change the size of the fonts and um, using the percent tag over here so not sorry percent tag but you have to um write the percent thing ahead of the size of your text you are choosing then lastly we have text alignment so in text alignment um, it defines whether you want your text to be in center left or right but in this video we'll be only studying about the center alignment okay because otherwise it will be a lot for you to study so um heading one a text text alignment so because i haven't styled uh, i don't have any styles for h1 about text alignment so my alignment is in left side okay so because if you do not mention any alignment the automatic alignment of which html is left okay so h2 style equals to because not some text align so i'm going to put text align and there'll be a hyphen between text and align a colon center because i want the center text alignment 
then semicolon and the quotation mark and then centered heading h2 end then paragraph style again i want my text line to be centered so text line and a hyphen in between colon center then semicolon quotation mark ending centered paragraph and then paragraph end okay and now guys make sure you never forget the end tags in html and you do not forget that the styling attribute will only be used in the starting tag okay and we do not need any separate tag for the styling attributes it's not just the styling attribute which, which is written in the starting tag but every attribute is written into the starting tag okay so that my html browser knows that okay i have to put this particular text in this tag right so i hope this was clear for all of you if you have any doubts please feel free to write them in the comment section and i'll try them try to solve them in the next video okay and if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video till then take care and bye bye